plagued by violence and the grief that follows. Look what that angel did. Look at, that, look at the community. You can see how well loved he was. And that's why I tell people he's not here physically, but he here in spirit. That angel is her son, Devin Myers. The 17-year-old Huntington High School athlete was shot dead near his home just over a month ago. Now his mother is starting a nonprofit to help children and families plagued by violence in Shreveport deal with grief and its effects. We can still help the kids in the community to get what they need. Backpacks, hygiene, snack packs. We're going to start off like that first. It's called Friends of Devon. Their first initiative is through a podcast called Risk Takers, engaging the community in a conversation about mental health and how to cope with death. Well, I just want all the mothers to be strong. It's hard. I'm not going to say it's easy. I'm not going to tell you we're not going to grieve. Others grieve different, and mine is going to be dealing with the kids because that's what I love. Latoya Pierce, a psychology professor at Centenary College, says a basic way to cope with death is engaging with others who know how grief feels. It's a process that we simply navigate um, and that we don't try to, to speed through. Um, but I think resources, too, um, such as the, the nonprofit support groups, is a lot of times what they can do um, is give you the space that you need to grieve in the way that you need to grieve. Francine Brown, the executive director of Seniors First, is partnering with Myers to help her mission. Devin's death has brought community back. We've had a chance to witness and be a part of what it means for community come together to help one another. And we thought that that was lost. And that's what Friends of Devin is all about. Everybody life he done touched. That's what keeps me. This nonprofit, Mrs. Myers nonprofit, you can go to our website, katalnews.com.